Hi, Allure. My name is Lauren Geraldo. Today, I'm going to be giving you my 10-minute beauty routine. I typically don't like to go over 10, if I'm being honest. I don't want to do 11. So, here we go. So I'm gonna start with my Ula Henriksen Cold Punch Pour Ready Moisturizer. I know that you're supposed to like apply moisturizer upwards, whatever, but if we have 10 minutes, this is, this is the approach. This is my favorite primer. I trust this with my life. It's the Rare Beauty. It is lightweight and it helps everything stick to it and it really gives you that glow from within. I don't know what Miss Selena Gomez put in this formula. But like, thank you. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Never met her. <laughs> friend? I don't know where that came from. What I love about this primer is that it really does like give you that glow in all the right areas. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Glow Stunner, which I am the face of, which is odd, because I never thought I'd be the face of anything. But this is a very cool product to be the face of because it has SPF 30 in it, and it applies such a beautiful, shiny tint that like covers up imperfections. I use the shade Medium Glow 6. I feel like we've moved like further away from the Instagram glam, which is like full beat, box eyebrows, big lashes. And I feel like, you know, we're all kind of into like this softer, more skin focused vibe in 2021 and I'm into it. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Concealer. Oh, and also like the way that I put it on is like very strategic. Um, I learned about this on TikTok. You're supposed to go like just a little here, here, here at an angle, here at an angle. And like just doing the concealer this way is gonna make it so it doesn't get too cakey underneath the eyes. So I have been on social media since I was 15. That's when I started on Vine. Um, so I had the pleasure of being well known online since high school, which obviously comes with some tragic mishaps. I had the thin eyebrows. I had the overly done contour for many years of my life, but I'm not ashamed of that at all. I think it's kind of cute. And you know, we've all gone through it. I just got to go through it publicly, but would not change a thing. Getty images, they're embarrassing, can never be deleted. Gotta embrace it. This Chanel cream bronzer is everything to me. I love this so much. I'm not like into bougie makeup. I think it kind of all does the same thing at the end of the day, but this one is the exception to the rule. It's so blendable, it's so creamy. So I like to put this bronzer everywhere. Um, a trick that I learned from my makeup artist friend is when you're doing your contour, never go past the pupil. So like, that's how you know when to stop. So when you're coming in here, don't go any deeper than the pupil. Thank you, Makeup by Samuel, for that one. Okay, when I'm doing a 10 minute situation, bronzer is my best friend. She is my eyeshadow. She goes in the crease, and that's all about, that's like all my crease really gets. Okay, another tip that I learned from a celebrity makeup artist friend of mine, and I am forever grateful, but it does always look a little weird. Like sometimes when I'm like filming videos, I'm like, this is weird, but like, whatever. Um, you take a lighter and you heat up your eyelash curler, and this essentially turns it into a flat iron. For your eyelashes, you do have to be careful. I like to rub my finger on it and make sure like the heat dies down before I literally scorch my eyelid, which I have done. Um, it's like, if you are gonna try this at home, which like, don't try this at home, but like when you try this at home, just make sure it's not scorching. Also, um, I've been curling my eyelashes since I was five years old, so I know a thing or two about this. But another thing with eyelash curlers is I highly recommend when you curl your eyelashes, do it like once with each hand, once with your right hand, once with your left hand. It's gonna give you a different angle. It's gonna give you a more balanced, well-rounded lash lift. Trust me. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Found this via TikTok. I find a lot of my things via TikTok. This is the Morphe Cream Blush. I'm gonna do blush everywhere. Like it's gonna go here, here, 
over the nose, it's a whole thing. The one thing that I would suggest you avoid when doing blush is to do it low, because then it kind of drives the face down. This is my favorite setting powder. It's everything. It's the Hourglass Veil. I have combination skin, which kind of love that. Best of both worlds, like worst of both worlds, balanced. Um, I break out due to stress and due to my period. These little eyelashes, so glad that I found them. These are my favorite daily eyelash. They're called the Ardell Accent. And I think what it is, it's just an eye, like their regular eyelash, like chopped in half. So it looks really natural. I don't know where my grandma buys these. I, she is nifty and where she sources her items. I don't know where she locates things. She can hardly speak English, but she can find these like no other. These are what you need to apply any type of falsy. Like I can't even imagine putting them on with like the regular, like traditional tweezers. No. Like you see how much better it looks already? Like this looks, the eye looks lifted. It looks like I'm not wearing anything. Next is eyebrows, which is my favorite step. I've been doing them a little differently recently and I've been so into it. I always thought that I was like a thin eyebrow girl. Like this is like what I have naturally, but I have found like a little quick way to make them look full-ish. So I've been into it. First, you need to start with an eyebrow pencil. This one, you can use any eyebrow pencil. And all you're gonna do, because you're gonna try to keep it like natural. The vibe here is I did nothing to my eyebrows. So all you're gonna do is the line under. Try to get that done first on both sides so you can make them as even as possible. And then just like analyze your brow and see if you have any sparse areas. And this baby right here, it is this for me. The Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter in clear. I love this. I even have the mini version of this. I have like six of these. I brush up and out. And the thing with getting this crazy fox brow is, is you wanna make it look like not too intense, but just a good amount. So you're really gonna focus the craziness on the second half. And then it looks like my brow is just naturally thick and not tame and uh, I just woke up like this. I have a model brow. I have a model. Next, I'm gonna move on to lips. I love Kylie and Kim's lip formulas. I love them so much, but today we're gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade. Kylie, why does it look like that? Oh God, I didn't like clean off my makeup really before filming this, so she is a little dysfunctional at the moment, but like she works. So I'm just gonna outline it and crisscross it here because what I do is I go like from one arch to the other arch and you'll get the, like the McDonald's logo and that's how you know you did it right. Blend it in and now we do a gloss. Today I'm using the Make It By Mario's gloss. Okay, we're gonna end it with some good old fashioned highlight. This one has never done me dirty. It's the MAC Soft and Gentle. It's such an OG highlighter, but like if something's not broke, don't fix it. Tip of the nose. Tips of the eyes. And this is an oldie, but it's a goodie. I moved to Arizona last year and I needed to bring out the big guns, the Urban Decay, all nighter settings for it. Like we were using this like what, five years ago, but it's still the best. And we're done. The whole point is I look like I'm not, not wearing makeup, but like I am wearing makeup, but like I'm not wearing makeup, but like, Thank you, Allure, for following my 10 minute beauty routine. I'm so honored to be here. I've watched all of these and now I have one that I can watch too, which will be weird now that I think about it, but I'm excited. Thank you for having me. Please have me again.